You announced a new advisory this week to combat misinformation, uh, specifically on social media. After President Biden said that social medias are killing people, here's what a Facebook official said to CNN in response. Quote, in private exchanges, the Surgeon General has praised our work, including our efforts to inform people about COVID-19. They knew what they were doing. The White House is looking for scapegoats for missing their vaccine goals. So that Facebook official is accusing you of saying one thing in public and another behind closed doors. Is that accurate? Well, I've been very consistent in what I've said uh, to the technology companies, and I've spoken with a number of them uh, over the last many months, and my team has as well. And what I've effectively said is when we see steps that are good, uh, that are being taken, we should acknowledge those. And there have been some positive steps taken by these technology companies. Some of them have worked uh, to try to up, you know, up promote uh, accurate sources like the CDC and, and, and other medical sources. Others have tried to reduce uh, the prevalence of false uh, res uh, sources in search results. But what I've also said to them publicly and privately is that it's not enough, that we are still seeing a proliferation of misinformation online. And we know that health misinformation harms people's health. It costs them their okay. lives. Uh, I've seen that as a doctor over the years, as patients have struggled with health misinformation. And here's a key thing to remember. Health misinformation takes away our freedom and our power to make decisions for us and for our families. And that's a problem. And this, the platforms have to recognize that they've played a major role in the increase and, in speed and scale with which misinformation is spreading. And what about the specific accusation that you're making Facebook and other social media platforms a scapegoat? Well, our, my concern, you know, as Surgeon General has been consistent from the beginning. We saw misinformation flowing around COVID-19 from the beginning. Uh, and we've raised those concerns to these companies. And I've spoken about my concerns about misinformation publicly numerous times uh, over the last many months. Uh, my concern is that we're not seeing nearly enough progress here. And that's one of the reasons I issued this advisory. It's not entirely about the tech companies. I issued this advisory to call the entire country to action, recognizing there are steps all of us can take. Technology companies have an important role, particularly when it comes to being yeah. transparent with the public about how much misinformation is flowing on their sites. But think about individuals, Dana. Each of us has a decision that, that we make every time we post something on social media. And I'm asking people to pause and to, to see, is the source accurate? Is it coming from a scientifically credible authority? And if it's not, or if you're not sure, don't share. Yeah, and to that point, you said that disinformation coming from so-called bad actors is also to blame, blame for this. And I want our viewers to have an idea of disinformation being spread on the right. Take a listen. There's nothing more anti-democratic.